How's it going? Seems like it's been a while. Because it has. Caught a quick road trip for work. It's about a month's worth of stuff, so we're back at it on the old turd again. Need to do an oil change on my work truck, so uh, because we're in this gas crisis, whatever you call it, shortage, something. Uh, this turd actually gets the best gas mileage out of all the vehicles I own, so I'm gonna drive it to go get some oil. And uh, before I do that, I think I'm gonna put the short shifter on that we talked about in one of the other videos. We're still injectors shy and the ECU shy of, of having everything ready for the turbo build. Turbo and the manifolds over there. Um, but in the meantime, I think we're gonna go ahead and get in here, pop this thing off, put the new one on, get those kinks worked out and see if uh, we can't have a quick little fun drive to Walmart. We are, we are gonna have to pull this, uh, I don't even, can't even really call it an exhaust on my car, but on most people's cars, it's gonna be called an exhaust. Mine's just a pipe because this is not long term, but we're gonna have to get this pulled off. Ugh, if I can get to it. So where we gotta be is up under here. Let's see what we got. Actually, it's five times a year. All right, so we got this thing down. I just, uh, I did have to end up pulling one of these rubber hangers, but I only had to do one. I was able to swivel this three inch pipe because it's our quote unquote exhaust. And so now that we've gotten this bolt out, it's kind of like a retaining pin. That's sort of what it's acting at on this lever, which sits up in here. Now we're gonna pop these two bolts out, get the new shifter in. I'm having to use like both hands and stuff, and so it's really time consuming. So uh, the car's not as high as I want it to be. I ended up having to take the whole shift linkage out because these two dang bolts right here are so rusted that when I try to, they're actually spinning because they don't have a head on them. They're just ones, there's just a pop in there. And they kind of hold themselves. Well, they're not holding themselves, so I don't know how the heck I'm going to get these out. Short of maybe welding them to this side so they won't move. Maybe they'll come off down. I don't know. I have to mess around and find out. Wow, that looks like crap, but it definitely worked. Uh, he, I, it was so hard to actually get some of this uh, aluminum oxide uh, paper in here to try to take the paint off so my weld would stick. Anyways, this one actually came back out. It's probably still hotter than heck, but it's off. So there's the stock shifter. One thing I'll say though for sure is that comparing this guy to this guy, yeah, I wasn't even sure where to set the new one as far as this ball goes, but you see how much of a difference that's going to make in the throw. Um, something I'm kind of nervous of is that my exhaust is going to hit the bottom of this. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to probably change this just a little bit. Drop this ball a little farther down. That way, I'm not going to have any issues. So the last thing I want to do get everything put on and then I got to take it back off again that would that make me mad so we're just gonna go ahead and fix that
Like who? Chipper Joe. He just had smaller options. I want to say it's when I was a little kid. Somebody told me that. But I can't. Oh, it's crooked. Because I don't have it in the thing right. This bad boy's on here. I don't know if you can see if I can get my camera the right way, but this thing is just, it's just barely not touching the exhaust. I'm actually thinking with the vibration of the exhaust, it might start rattling against it, but I won't know until I know. So still the throw to side to side seems about the same, but that would be first, that's second. And I've seen some cars where it's much less than that, but considering where we were, where we are, I say that a lot. I'm, I'm satisfied with this. $50 short shifter with all this custom ability for, for height. This sits um, about maybe two inches higher than it did. And it still has less throw. It almost feels like it, that right, th first and third don't really click very well. It's just kind of, I'm assuming it's in. But you definitely feel it like you're cocking a bolt, bolt action rifle or something in fourth and, and in second. So let's just take it for a ride and see what happens. All right, I will tell you something. This weird COVID crap is pissing me off because the, oh, oh, excuse me, I had to spread some more COVID and germs around Walmart. So I always get my oil here at Walmart because you got the best prices. You got all the oil I need, all the filters I need for the wife's van. They even carry factory Toyota stuff here. Uh, and I do the mobile one for the truck but they've been out of these M1 uh, slash uh, M1-110 filters. You see this thing is, it's been like a, two weeks now, they've been totally out. Well, alternative, I use these K&Ns, totally out. The next alternative is your Fram, which are like the bottom of the barrel, totally out. So what do you do when you're in a Nissan Frontier and you gotta have an oil filter? Well, you can use the M1-108A uh, or the SO1008 for the KNN. The VQs use these, uh, the 3.5s. So just get you that, and it's gonna fit. It's a slightly smaller oil filter, but all it's gonna really do is bump up your oil pressure just a tick. Learn that from some of the dudes in the Centra forums. You can thank them for that. That'll get you out of a bind in a situation like this where you can at least get you an oil change have you another 5,000 miles before you got to deal with it again. And for some more Frontier tips, if you like Nissan Frontiers, if you have a Nissan Frontier, uh, check out some other videos on this channel. Uh, I get bored with the car every now and then, do some stuff on the Frontier. So uh, just when you get done watching this video and you like and you subscribe, uh, go ahead and check out some of those videos on the Frontier and we'll, we'll catch you over there.
Is it a bad buy? Absolutely not. For the 45 or 50 bucks I paid for this, I mean, it's like hard to go wrong. Maybe they don't make it for your application, but you should check the forms because back in my B15 Sentra days, you could make a short shifter for literally $5. Listen, let's all be straight here. I know this is not a video that's gonna be like the awesomest video. Yes, I am totally stalling because I don't have all my turbo stuff yet. I just don't, because I've got some weird text messages out of the blue, like, hey man, you know, here's something, and it's like, oh, by the way, you get that turbo on? Like, well, that's cool that you've been watching. Hey, I appreciate the, the, the support, you know? Um, no, we haven't. We got some other stuff to do, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think I'm gonna sell this thing. I think after I'm done doing everything I need to do with it, I'm gonna sell it. And I wanna talk about this now because that's gonna help me sell it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not gonna sell it after I turbo it. There's still some other stuff. I'm gonna put a cage in this guy. For girl. Don't assume my car's gender, okay? Don't do that. Can't do that. Uh, so we're gonna put a cage in it. And I'm gonna swap these seats out because I need race harnesses. And I gotta get some other suspension stuff on, some brake mod stuff too, wheel spacers, or maybe some wider wheels, I don't know. This thing ain't supposed to be wannabe drag car that's actually out because it's got a cage and it's stiff running some, some mountain track. No, 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 no. I wanna make something that will make you crap in your pants if you're in that seat right there. And if you're in this seat right here, you're gonna be like this. I can't, I can't stop smiling. Oh gosh, why when I start, this is so fun. Ugh. You know what I'm talking? Okay, good. All right, so that's a wrap. If you've made it this far, God bless you. God bless you. You deserve something and I don't have anything else to give you. So, uh, hey, why don't you just subscribe, throw us a like, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.